So I'm assuming you're watching this video because like me, for the past four days, I've been frustratingly staring at the floor in Battlefield 2042 or at the sky sometimes, um, trying to find a fix to why your controller isn't working. Now I've been playing on mouse and keyboard, so I've been getting by, but you know, I just needed to find a fix for this. Now I've seen a few online and there's different issues with controller as well. This might not be the fix for everybody. I've seen controllers not working. Um, scuff controllers, Xbox Elite controllers, but I've got a PS5 as well uh, with a PS4 controller, and this works for me. Well, this has worked for me. Um, so I downloaded Battlefield 2042 through Origin. Uh, if you download it through Steam, I think you might have a bit of an easier fix online on YouTube. Um, just research that and I think that'll be fairly straightforward but if you didn't like me what you'll need to do is download Steam if you haven't already um, add game add a non Steam game and you'll find it in here if you can't find it in here just browse it you will be able to find Battlefield uh, 2042 uh, once you've done that you need to go to well you can see it there once, you, once you've downloaded it it'll be in Battlefield 2042 uh, under library uh, there is some fixes saying right click this and go to properties which does nothing if you've downloaded this uh, through the likes of origin you won't be able to you won't be able to access uh, what these other fixes say so close that go to the top left hand corner steam settings and in game this will be unticked I'd imagine when you go in here uh, so what you need to tick is this middle one, which is use the big picture overlay when using a Steam input enabled controller from the desktop. So just tick, make sure that's ticked, click OK, and then top right hand corner, big picture mode. Uh, this basically, basically takes you to the, the controller version of Steam, a bit like your home screen on PS5. Uh, I'm assuming on Xbox, like a, a very basic version. So I haven't got my controller plugged in at the moment. Um, it doesn't really matter whether you plug this in before you start up or like me right now. So you, I'll, I'll plug my PS4 controller in. Um, and then uh, have I plugged it in? Make sure I plug it in, right controller in. Ah, there we go popped up uh, bottom right PlayStation 4 controller so it's detected that straight away um, if you go to uh, the top right hand corner just check your settings and make sure controller settings uh, PlayStation configuration support make sure that's ticked well, especially if you're using a PlayStation controller I'm assuming it's the same for Xbox configuration support so uh, yeah I've not got an Xbox controller myself so just please let me know if that works as well I'm assuming it will I'll leave the top one ticked I'm not sure why that is but it doesn't affect anything uh, as you can see at the bottom PlayStation 4 controller you can just check that by saying identify and you'll feel a small vibration uh, and basically that is it so you go to your library uh, and you'll find Battlefield 2042 here which you should be able to just fire up and use your controller as normal um, yeah no jumbled up anything it should just work completely as normal uh, if I actually fire this up let's see if this fires up it might if you fire this up I mean Battlefield 42 just take a little bit to to get going uh, but what you should see in the bottom right hand corner is it will identify the overlay I believe ah, so here we go yeah bottom line call the steam community access while playing and then config loaded bottom right which you probably haven't seen that um, before so yeah that should be it let me know how you get on um, and I appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.